Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got another battery. Um, I really like these things. Before I get into the battery, let me tell you what I use them for. So we live rural and we lose power a lot. And for example, two hurricanes ago, we were without power for, for I think like 16 or 17 hours. And I had to work and I work from home. So, you know, YouTube's not my full-time thing. And I have power stations, you know, that you plug in AC and all that stuff, and they work fine, right? But I had to run the freezer, I had to run the chest freezer, I had to run the refrigerator, I had to run, you know, all these things. I also needed something for, there's a thing in the basement that is for the internet, then there's the router upstairs, and then there's my work computer and my work monitor and my work laptop, you know, all these things that I had to keep going. So my power stations were kind of used up, and I had three 100 amp hour batteries that I put into work. I have inverters, there's one of them over there. And you know, I can power stuff that way. And then I have solar panels. Of course, then it was raining and cloudy and, and I couldn't use those. That's what I use these for. Like I'll come up to an inverter and I can run stuff or 12 volt. Um, I'm an amateur radio operator, I'm a ham. And I do emergency stuff for the county and for the County uh, Reserve Medical Corps. I, you know, I do communications if, if there's a grid down situation because we're at the end of Tornado Alley and you know that happens. And we also have a fault line that's kind of close that could set off one day. I could run one of my radios off these things forever. Um, I, I, I could get a week of emergency radio operation off of one of these, if not more. So that's really cool. But let's talk about the battery itself. So it's a 100 amp hour, you can see that. It's 12.8 volts. Um, you know, that's what, 1,280 watt hours. You can do that math right there. And yeah, it'll do uh, a max charge or discharge current of about 100 amps, which is, you know, pretty good. You, you can burn it down in an hour if you wanted. I, I, I want it, but it, it can handle it. It does have Bluetooth. Let's talk about that for a second, though. Um, when I connect it to the app, there's, there's, there's a way in the app that you can turn it off. You can turn the battery off. Once the battery's off, you cannot get the Bluetooth to connect to it again until you either draw current or input current. So you either have to just start drawing on it or charge it. That's a little annoying because, you know, it, it would be nice if there was like a button or something to wake the battery up. Um, like I wanted to check the status of it after I had put it away for a while for like a week. And I came back to it and then I, I, I couldn't go in and connect the app because I had told it to shut the app off so it wasn't like, you know, vampire draining the battery. It'd just be so nice if there was a button. I have one from another manufacturer that does have a button. When you press that button, it wakes everything up. And, and you can also just see on the display. Maybe something to think about in the future a lot of time. Just a little button to wake the Bluetooth up. That'd be swell. What else can we talk about? Oh, when I tested it, which is pretty common with these, uh, it outperformed the 100 amp hours listed. I drew it down with my CB4 battery analyzer like I do in other videos. I've decided that it's, you know, just not worth putting the chart up. It's, no one cares. It wasn't a lot over. It was two something over amp hours, but that's better than underperforming once listed. Um, I've said this in another video. I had a company send me some 10 amp hours and they were like two and a half to three and a half amp hours under that. This is that much over it. So you're getting what you pay for. Let's talk about the construction. You know, pretty solid plastic. Uh, it is kind of smooth, which I don't necessarily like because it shows fingerprints and stuff, but look, who cares, right? Uh, it does have one of these nylon web handles here. Let me show you. I'm not the biggest fan of these because they get pretty bitey in your hand, but with a 100 amp hour battery, you're talking like 20 something pounds. So it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if you had to carry it a long way, you could just put your fingers underneath it, right? And you're not too worried about it. But yeah, they just come with some cheap, you know, screw terminals like they always do. Uh, you can get better ones yourself. Um, I mean, I, I just leave those ones on, but some people prefer to get nicer ones. Other than that, uh, let me think here. Uh, this is a IP65 waterproof or water resistant case. It does have a battery management system. Um, it's got supposedly over 20 protections like low temp cutoff, overload auto recovery, 
uh, stuff like that. So it makes it pretty competitive. Um, that's pretty much standard now. You can find ones that don't have that, and I would stay away from those. So it, it gets my, my, my approval there. And then obviously, if you're switching out lead acid to lithium iron phosphate, I mean, you're saving a ton of weight. Like, LifePo is, it, I'll, I'll never get used to how light LifePo is. I used to use mostly lead acid batteries for my radios and just switching to even like the, just the small little LifePo's for the small little lead acid, like it, it's a huge difference. When you start getting the 100 amp hour or the 200 amp hour, like it really adds up and is noticeable. Um, this is pretty competitively priced. When I'm doing this video, it's like $229.99, so that's, that's pretty typical. And I'm just trying to think here if there's anything I really talked about. Uh, the app was nice because it did show you like the voltage, the current, and the state of charge. Um, I think it had like some graphing in there and stuff. But yeah, Lightime's been around for a while and like some of these companies, they just disappear. I expect Lightime to stick around. Um, I do like this. I want to use it a little more before I decide if I get some more of them. There's another brand that I'm kind of really liking, but they're considerably more expensive. And if this thing performs as well as that, then I'll definitely pick up more of these. Um, I'm thinking of making a YouTube studio out of a shed, uh, like 24 by 12 feet or whatever. And it'd be nice if I could run everything off of battery, that way I could run it off the solar powered. And you know, I'm only out there filming once a week or something, and that would be plenty of time for the batteries to recharge. So yeah. I like these. I'll have the link in the sticky comment in the description, like normal. If you've used these or used any of their other ones, you know, they've got, I think, like a dozen models or something. This is the outboard motor edition. Um, I think mostly that's just the uh, the waterproof, what, what did I say, IP65, something like that. So you got that going here. But anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next video.